we come to the conclusion of yet another Rugby World Cup. The rugby crazy nation of New Zealand has hosted 47 games over the past month and a half, and all that remains is the final match in Auckland on Sunday evening. I told you they were rugby crazy, just look at the question they ask on their customs declaration form. The American Eagles managed to grab their third ever World Cup match win this year against Russia, but didn't have too much success in the rest of the tournament, ending with a total overall point differential of negative 84. 62 of those points came from a brutal loss against the Wallabies. Australians do love their sports betting. The New Zealand All Blacks knocked off the Australian Wallabies last week in the semifinals, so sorry Samo. Tomorrow, I'll be wearing all black as they take on France in the finals. That's Riliki Samo, by the way. Rugby players are absolutely massive in person. It's not the toughest rugby team mascot, after all. New Zealand has been heavily favored in pretty much every World Cup, but hasn't managed to win it since the first one in 1989. With the home field advantage and the intimidating traditional Maori haka pregame dance, the All Blacks are in perfect position to win it all tomorrow night. The All Blacks perform this dance before every match. I'll try to find a good video of it to link here. So if you want to watch a true World Series and see something a little different from the usual football, tune into NBC on Sunday at 2pm to watch the final. Almost makes you wish America cared about the sports the rest of the world plays.